Well, two great action RPGs on PS4. We got another Tales game, and that's Tales of Berseria. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and I think the best match for this Tales game is not a Star Ocean game, is is 9 Monstrum Nox. Any version, this is on Switch, PS5, everywhere. This is only on Steam and PS4. Oh, and PS3, but only in Japan. They're a bit divisive. They're popular games. Most people love them, but they're a bit divisive, especially this one. I don't know what's gonna happen here, so let's do this. Kevin says, okay, so both games are pretty dark, darker than their previous games, which is fine, but I will say I like what... Well, I like Adeline 9 with his uh, I'm over this shit attitude. Velvet Crow is a much better protagonist, so you chose Versaria, okay. Brian says, Versaria has a lot more going for it mechanically. Both have instanced combat, but Versaria does it better by making it less repetitive. Okay, so you are choosing uh, Berseria because of the combat. Hufuang says the games are, are matched up perfectly, it's just Berseria is better. You can always play an ease game and get an ease fix, but Berseria has a different tone than the others. Kevin says East Monstrum Nox takes exploration to the next level, I mean you can climb, glide and fly to buildings and grappling too. Tales of Berseria is overrated, darker version of any Tales game, it doesn't change. Wow! I've never seen anybody saying Tales of Berseria is overrated, but okay, that's your opinion. David David says, Berseria for me, much darker story, the characters were interesting and fun combat. That's... okay. The poll is over, Tales of Berseria won with 63%, Monstrum Nox lost with 37 ouch. That hurts me. <laughs> I'm a diehard fan of both games, you know that, but CEs lose so bad which is my pick, uh, it kind of hurts, I don't know. I remember when Star Ocean 6 lost versus Tales of Arise, and okay, I understood why, but this one I'm like... I think the reason is because, uh, and a lot of you mentioned this, because a lot of people haven't played this 9, so they were voting for Berseria even though they didn't play this 9. Well, I guess this isn't as popular as I... Uh, this one in particular, East 8 is super popular, but East 9? I, th I don't think a lot of people bothered with it. I don't know why though. Probably because of the price. Yeah, my pick is East 9. But again, it's uh, it's uh, one of those. It wins by a hair. Just because. Um, I don't know. I don't know why, to be honest. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you why. Fine. I think the story is on equal terms. You know, I love Velvet. Velvet definitely adds way more to the story and the cast of characters. Or is like the. These anti-heroes, rejected, socially rejected characters, you know? E, but East 9 is, uh, take, took the same formula a little bit differently, you know, with these characters that are like, you know, kind of dark and edgy. Uh, so in terms of casting characters, I, I don't know. I think in terms of story, these games are on equal terms, because it's just as dark and edgy and whatever, you know, and the plot twist in East 9 is like, wow. Uh, I certainly wasn't expecting that to the big revelation why there's two at all, you know, I like that So I think in terms of story while in equal terms I think I prefer Monster Nox a little bit more because the story in Berseria is fucking great and Velvet and blah 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 Yeah, I get you on that, you know, I'm a diehard Velvet fan as well But I think it's a little bit more unpredictable on East 9 while in Berseria is a bit predictable uh, We already know what was gonna happen like, I certainly wasn't expecting the end, the very last scene of Berseria, I wasn't expecting that, okay? So it's got its plot twist as well. But the outcome, the conclusion of the whole journey and adventure of Berseria was a bit more predictable. Whereas the, uh, that adventure, the ending, the conclusion of East 9 was a bit more like, oh my god, I wasn't expecting that, you know? So, uh, yeah, in terms of story, it wins by a hair. It's very small hair. But in terms of characters, I think Berseria wins. It's just, yeah. Graphics are the same, I think. You know, great graphics, but nothing outstanding, so, yeah. Uh, music. I love the soundtrack of Berseria. I I've always said this, but when it comes to music, Motoi Sakuraba kind of cheeses through it. A few great fucking themes, and then the rest of the soundtrack is kind of like, eh. And East 9 is just Falcom, you know, it's Takahiro Unisuga, Imitsu Singa, you know, those guys, you know, they nailed it. I think the soundtrack in Lacrimosa of Dan is a bit better, but in here it did not disappoint, so I think I like the soundtrack on East 9 a little bit more. 
uh, something. So like Prater said, you know, just because of music, <laughs> it wins. These nine kind of wins, you know. And finally, exploration is kind of the same. I have no issues with both. Uh, there's a lot of backtracking in Berseria. But these nine didn't expand more in this exploration, so they both have this small flaw in them. But at the same time, the gameplay is fucking fantastic in both. And the combat is like fucking great in both. But I will give you this. If you play Berseria on normal mode, or and above, and it's 9 or above, or normal, forget about the easy modes in both games, normal or harder than that, okay, this wins. It's more balanced, it's more fun, and this is a pain in the ass, you know, some enemies fucking kill you for no reason, and you're like, what? So, it, this one has some balancing issues, this fucking doesn't. So, uh... I see the victory to Berseria, it may be the better game, uh, and I fucking love it passionately, but I'm sticking with East, you know, because I think I enjoyed it just a bit more. Uh, but this, this is a strongly recommended game, okay? This is, you gotta play this fucking game, it's amazing, amazing game. That's it everybody, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with anybody out there!